got some exciting news here. All the way from Portugal, I ordered a rally tower for the CRF 300L. It was uh, a little bit pricey, nothing uh, out of the ordinary, but these things are expensive because they come with the lights and everything. So let's first unbox this beauty and let's get it on the bike together. With this setup, I should be able to see better and there's a little bit of a wind protection, which is gonna help me in the winter time because it's super cold and any amount of wind that gets into your chest, it's gonna be a problem. So let's get into it and let's get it on the bike. Oh, it's exciting. There's a lot of uh, cushioning here. So everything is gonna be traveling safe to you guys if you order the same set. Wow, beautiful. Let's try to get this out. It's like Christmas. <laughs> wow, this looks really nice. Look at that. Everything is already in, so I don't have to assemble the lights. The frame already includes everything, so that's really nice. I wonder how easy it is to install because there looks to be a plug there already. So if there is a, somewhere I can fit this in the Honda, maybe this is straight up plug and play to the Honda because they, they actually say on the website that it's pretty easy and quick to install. So, and the lights look beautiful. Wow, look at that. Really up close. Really nice. I was, I'm surprised about the quality. There's some 3D printed parts here. So this one wears the logo and the text. This is a 3D printed, some kind of a resin plastic material, but the rest of it is aluminum. So one of the reasons I went with this product is because the frame is aluminum. It doesn't bend and break so easily. And if it does bend, it doesn't necessarily crack so easy as some of the offerings on the market are fully 3D printed. And I'm not sure if those are gonna sustain well, but this is fully aluminum, as you can see. The frame is really sturdy and there's the navigation mount. It's also aluminum. Seems to be a little bit of an adjustment. So you can see maybe there to the angle of the navigation mount. So that's really nice. You can adjust it a little bit. And I'll put the links in the description so you can see everything there. Looks like there's just some bolts there on the package and the sticker. These are gonna come to the triple clamps like this. And there's the rest of the mount. I'm not sure where this comes, but it's gonna be apparent when we get it on the bike. So. All of these products are aluminum and uh, the powder coating looks really, really good. I don't find any problems with it. Looks like a quality product. Very impressed actually, especially this center uh, unit. It looks uh, really nice. Wow. I can't wait to see how bright those lights are. There's still something here on the box. So there's the Plexi. I can ask if I can find a link to these instructions and I can link it in the description. Okay, finally. Wow. And the plastic looks really good as well. I wonder if I can get the focus to be correct. It's a see-through logo here, so that's really nice. You just plug it in like this, press it. I don't want to do it now because I don't want to get it too, too tight in there. I want to install it first, but just so you can see how it looks. That's a really nice looking setup. From the ones that I found online, this one was the best looking, in my opinion. Oh yeah, one thing I almost missed. There's a USB plug here, already installed. And there's a on-off plug as well, so you can decide if it's delivering power or not. That's kind of cool. One fuse here, plugs to the USB, and then to the bike directly, so. 
The install should be really easy, anyone can do this. So let's get this installed in the bike and see how the install goes.